All right, so from a banana to a wild type, you should only get bananas or wild types. Um, it looks like we got something else here. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jace from Gen Z Reptiles and we're back with another egg cutting video. The pairing was a banana male to normal, AKA wild type female. And we're just gonna jump right in. All right, egg number one. All right, so from a banana to a wild type, you should only get bananas or wild types. Um, it looks like we got something else here. We went ahead and looked really quick, and it looks like um, last year we paired her to a queen spin. So basically what happened this time, it looks like there might have been some retained sperm. We'll see what happens with the rest of the clutch, but we were not expecting that whatsoever. This one actually has a little bit of a weird spot on it. Um, sometimes uh, it just happens throughout the incubation. Uh, it usually doesn't impact the baby on the inside. Now that's just bizarre. It looks pretty dark. Actually, I think it's just a spider now that the lighting's a little bit better, but. Yeah, just... So uh, a little bit more on that queen spin. The queen spin is actually a pastel lesser spider pinstripe. So it looks like there was uh, multiple babies from this. He might've, it might've just been an entire clutch from the retained sperms. All right, egg number three. This is egg three of five. It looks like we hit a beautiful wild type ball python. What are the odds on that? Well, I think it's like a one in 16 chance of hitting that, so. Egg number four. Here's that we hit maybe a bumblebee in there. That would be the spider and pastel. That's weird, I've never seen that weird gooey stuff. But. So that was a really quick run, but this is our last egg. And honestly, it's pretty awesome. We weren't expecting that to happen with the, the dad mix up there, but it's cool to hit more than just uh, bananas or normals. It gave us a couple more possible combinations, so. Looks like we hit another spider in there. Good looking spider at that. All right, y'all, here's a recap of what we got. I'm gonna just give my best guess. I'm thinking that this one has, uh, well, for sure it's got pinstripe in there. We're thinking maybe it has some pastel and or lesser in there. We'll, we'll be able to tell better when it's out of the egg, but that's egg number one. Egg number two, we got this dark looking spider. I don't know if there's anything else in that, probably just spider. Egg number three, the classic wild type, beautiful snake. Egg number four, this is like my dream snake ever since I was young. When I first saw ball pythons, the bumblebee was the combo to hit. And so we finally hit one. Was not going for that, but I'll take it. I will take it, dreams coming true. And then last and certainly not least, we got another spider in there. So yeah, there's a quick overview of the entire clutch. All right, I thought we'd do a quick close up up here on the spiders, just to get an idea of what we're talking about with that polymorphism. So those are two spiders side by side, and you could see the one on the right is a lot more light colored than the one on the left. At first, for some reason, a xanthic popped in my mind when, when we saw egg number two, but I think it's just the variation in the spider gene. Uh, I don't think anything else is really going on there. And like I said, we'll be able to tell a little bit better once they come out of the eggs there, but just wanted to point that out quick. All right, you guys, that was pretty unexpected, but we can never complain about healthy babies. If you want to see some more egg cutting videos, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Also, check us out on Morph Market and Instagram, links down below, and we'll see you next time.